This is an NG plus run, so I started by mewling over some gold and buying myself a charged bolt staff. I used that staff to get some levels before making my way towards Rakan issue. I also ended up finding two chipped sapphires, so I decided to use those for some extra mana. I yeet away the smith's hammer and make my way towards Andariel, quickly finishing her off with some charged bolts. In Act 2, I grab my Gamecube, which I follow up by realizing I haven't done the Den of Evil yet and I want to respec. So I quickly clear it and respec into a lightning sorceress. With my new powers, I move along to Fang's kin. Because the tall Russia sorceress is known for being extremely powerful, she can do anything she wants. So I thought to myself, what should I try to do here? And the answer was easy. I should try to do everything. However, to do it all, I first need to get through the game. So I pick up the Staff of Kings and quickly static down Duriel. There were some technical issues in Act 3. So to Act 4 we go. And it starts off by staticking Isual. For the Diablo fight I dodge lightning and after that static Diablo. And if you're thinking, man that looked easy, well that's cause it was. I save Anya, eat the scroll and move along to my next static target, the Ancient. With that level I can finally equip the reason I wanted to play a lightning sorceress in the first place. I found this amulet and went, I need an excuse to play a NG plus lightning source. The first dangerous moment in the run comes in the form of Lister who hits me hard behind Bale but I do end up making it past him. And lo and behold I static Bale. So yeah let's move that straight along shall we? I decide to finish up in normal first, clearing the sewers and getting my hellforge before making my way into nightmare. In nightmare I decide to go find an old tree and make my way towards Andario again. It is a riveting, exciting and very close fight on all fronts, except for the parts where it isn't, which is the entire fight cause I just static her and moved right along. I got myself a holy freeze mercenary before killing the summoner who dropped me a Tancred's amulet. And to the surprise of absolutely no one, I static Duriel. The council is a bit more of a threat, but they do go down before making my way to Static Isto. The Plains of Despair are once again aptly named as they are filled with souls. I dive into a group of them headfirst and barely make my way towards Isual. Hey Fasto, the Armorer is the first enemy that is basically unkillable to me. So I decide to move along towards the Chaos Sanctuary, where Diablo is once again waiting for me. This time he has a lot more lightning resist, so I have to stand next to him and tank him for a while, but I do end up taking him down. I grind Eldritch for some levels, and with those I can start equipping the first pieces of my final gear. Triangle Braces, Aldo's Boots and the very underrated Dwarf Star. Together with al Hizir, we go and fight the Ancients, who at this point we still easily overpower. The Worldstone Keep starts off with me casually diving into some souls before doing some leveling on the Bale Waves. After a bail fight not even worth showing, I move into the terror zones because I have some serious leveling to do. Luckily nothing ever goes wrong and I don't almost die in a random cave. I end up finding a fine charm with delusions of grandeur before being able to equip the amulet, the weapon and the helmet. The Tal Russia set has pretty high level requirements, especially the armor, that you can only start wearing at level 71. I had an arm in the helmet because that's what it had when I picked it off a mercenary. You can suck whatever you want into it, topaz, ruby or even a burr rune. After some more leveling I finally get to level 71 and get to equip the armor as well. I decided on the spirit for the shield, but if you want to keep the strength lower you can also go for a litless wall. With the full set equipped I cautiously make my way into hell by trudging through the blood more. Get my revenge on Rakan issue, save some old guy. But I don't have time to stay and listen cause I have some key farming to do. The lightning sorceress is an excellent key farmer, the countess is always cold and fire immune, so going in with the lightning sorceress just makes sense. While almost dying only once, I collect my three keys and move along to the pit. Not because I think it's smart to do, the arches are very dangerous in there, but because I'm a decked out sorceress and I can do whatever I want. After the pit, I make my way towards the catacombs again. Where Andy drops me chances, they end up being 31 percenters. The true quest of finding every library book in the existence of Sanctuary continues with killing Radamant. And after that I quickly make my way through the Maggot Lair before once again realizing teleporting can be very dangerous in the Claw Viper Temple. Little tip, Vipers can't walk stairs so if you just go up the altar they can't reach you and everything is free. 
for my next party trick i am farming the summoner because he drops keys of hate which seems wrong to me they should have let one of the act 3 sub bosses drop them but here we are i end up dropping a very cool dimensional blade with 260 enhanced damage and plus skills and 20 ias no clue what i'm gonna do with this but i love finding stuff like this and just look at this fight, what can I even say at this point, it's all become static to me. Cesar drops as a jade figurine, but I do need to be careful and let the mercenary take care of things in the Flayer dungeon. I pick up the rest of my groceries in the Flayer jungle before moving along to the lower co-ops. I didn't do a lot of LK farming, but I wanted to show you that this is an excellent character to do farming with. Once again, I show off my safe teleporting skills before finding the chest in the sewers. Trevancol is actually a hard fight with this build, it's just tons of scary things and lightning immunes, so I decide to kill everything I can kill, grab the flail and advance the quest. You can kill the lightning immunes if you want, it will just take your mercenary a really long time. The Mephisto fight, I mean it's a Mephisto fight with a bully decked out sorcerer, what do you want me to say here? He drops nothing by the way. In the Chaos Sanctuary, we let El Hazir do the talking against the Grand Vizier of Chaos, and we casually snipe Lord aside from across the lava. Alizir tanks the Venom Lords as well, and with that we are at Diablo, who drops a Sanders weapon. Every single time I drop a set item I haven't recorded with yet. I keep wanting to clear the game with them until I've done the game with all the sets. Is that something people would be into? Let me know in the comments. The only real challenge in Act 5 is in the form of the Ancients. I reset them a few times until I get a setup I can work with. The fight starts off with me pulling Madoc away to get him into a 1v2. However, he runs back and before I can react the mercenary follows him, making Talek and Korlik rejoin the fight. I teleport away from a few attacks trying to isolate them again, but I realize that Al Hazir is doing an excellent job of thanking them, so I decide to just start throwing damage at them and despite them heavily targeting me, I do end up taking down Korlik, which allows me to split off Talek, kill him and deal with Madoc last. In the Worldstone Keep, I do another one of my fabled safe teleports. If anyone is wondering why I keep dying while playing Sorcerers, this has nothing to do with it. Teleport just goes brrrr and I can't stop it. I finish up Bale and with that, the easy part of this run is done. Time for the Uber Sprap. I start off by heading into the Frozen River, where I get pounded by a group of Frozen Abyss. I didn't realize it was Saturday night already. With Anya saved, I equip a Nature Speech, because it's time to do good old Nilatak. The monster's rest in peace mod immediately proves its worth as Nilatak still explodes all over me. And I never knew what causes this, until Denbots9715 posted a comment on my Griswold video, saying that he never brings a mercenary to this fight. I figured, fuck it, why not, let's try it, and lo and behold. The keys just started dropping like candy from a van. With the keys collected I figured I would just dive right in and go and kill the Ubers. How bad can it be after all? I trigger fade and head into the matron's den where Lilith awaits. She one shots my mercenary and uses my health pool as her personal scorecard. So I run back to town and get the reinforcements again, only to be one tapped yet again. Eh, I'll figure that out later, so let's try Duriel. I start by luring him towards the red portal as he casually almost kills me in one blow. Another 900 in 2 seconds gone, I realize that I might have to admit defeat here, I can't do this with this setup right now. I head towards the best resource for anything you ever want to know. I look to see if anyone has done this before, turns out no one has. The closest thing I could find is a video by Smalps Gaming, where he clears the ubers with a nova sauce. I checked this video and headed towards hero editor, cause the gear he uses will take me decades to farm. So I make all of the epic gear and a new sorceress, this time with the energy shield Nova build, on softcore. I encounter Lilith surrounded by a cursed fanaticism group, just perfect. So I take those down and start the long process of using Nova to kill things. Seriously, every single fight with this took forever. A few healing moments later and Lilith goes down, that's 1 out of 6 done. Second up is Ishwal, who honestly was just the easiest part of this by a lot. It once again took a while, but he went down without any problems. I follow it up by heading back into the desert, luring Duriel towards a red portal and while he is reenacting Killer Instinct's ultra combo on us, Chalan and I do end up taking him down. 3 down, 3 to go, halfway there. 
Small used a black horn's face with a damaged jewel in it. I figured I'd just use an art rune. He uses a plague rune with for low resist, because you need all the help you can get for damage, a treachery for faster attacking and fade, and an eternity, which is a smart way to that cannot be frozen and some crushing blow in this setup. I open up the portal and the first thing I see is that all three brothers of evil are clumped together. Which is no bueno. I start off by luring Mephisto away from his brothers towards the red portal. A decision I would come to regret later. I immediately celebrate creating my new sources on softcore and run back into the red portal. Only to realize things aren't doing exactly well on the other side. I get a few frames, but get killed pretty quickly. And I go again and realize I have fully bricked my first attempt at this. I enter the portal once more with feelings, but alas, die and learn I suppose. Time for attempt number 2, I start off by luring Mephisto away, this time towards the bottom of Tristram and quickly static him down. He responds by turning my mercenary into a tray of soup that's fallen on the floor. I get my mercenary back again and all that needs to happen now is to proc lower resist and we should be off to the races. The lower resist triggers and we immediately go past the static threshold, but the lower resist stops and we go straight back to start with our passing go. Not only that. We go back around as well, just because the game can make it so. Decided to head back into town for some more healing, I find myself a Mephisto at the door the next time I enter Tristram. Like seriously, how in the hell did he get there? I shout stand up free frisian at my mercenary and he starts hacking away at the Lord of Hatred. He goes down, but that doesn't really stick in this game, so I get him back and go at it again. He goes down again. Surely this time the third time will be the charm, but this time I run out of battle orders and go down like it's Friday night myself. After this moment I had a strange sensation of deja vu, I wonder why. Next attempt I prove to the world that I am nothing if not a stubborn idiot by luring Mephisto straight towards the red portal again. Not like anything has ever gone wrong doing that before. The lower resist triggers and we hack down Mephisto's health pool towards the M. Past the M, keep going, with black giving way to red. In his life bar, the bar struggles up to the M again, but we follow it up with a final push. The bar goes down and down as Mephisto's spirit leaves his body. 4 down to the girl. After all of that, I am down bad on potions, but I don't want to leave the game that I cleared Mephisto in, so I head towards Bale, static him down, and he responds in kind by taking a giant dump on my energy shield. Seriously, my mana pool is trying to make black give way to blue. Being this low on energy means that I am consistently getting convicted from my energy shield. Bale makes things even worse by giving me blood mana, which deals damage every time I use mana. It's horrible and can only be cast on you when you have a bigger mana pool than life pool making my life total more of a suggestion than a thing. At this point I'm getting desperate, I go and get an Act 2 mercenary because I want to use the Conviction Aura to see if I can rush the Bale fight. I figured if my energy shield goes down quickly, all I need to do is just raise Bale's life total. I mean, what's that can't kill my energy shield? One quick moment later I have learned firsthand that this idea was really dumb, as Bale is kicking my ass and even spawned a clone in to take part in the fun of pummeling me to death. I get some more pots and move back towards the Act 5 mercenary before starting my next attempt. At this point I have a plan for Mephisto, Bale has some problems, but how about Diablo? So I decide to try and see how the Diablo fight goes. And strangely enough, it was easy, seriously, I just got in his face and killed him. It felt so strange after the horrors of fighting his brethren, 5 out of 6 defeated. I clear Mephisto again. I look at his life total evaporating, happiness flows over me, cause at this point I've been trying this shit for hours and I want it to be done, so I ignored the bad feeling I had, but deep inside I always knew it was just the clone. I once again betray my act 5 mercenary for an act 2 one, cause this wasn't working, and I will blame everyone but me. With Brotham at my side I get back at it again. Once again having run out of potions, seriously I'm literally making hundreds of these and still running out. Surely the mercenaries and YouTube tutorials must be doing something wrong, can't be me after all. Spoiler, it was totally me. Figuring all of my problems are mana base related, I decide to respec. This time going into vitality instead of mana. I kept the skills the same, but this prevents me from dying immediately when I run out of energy shield and more important, it stops the blood mana from being cast on me. Even with those two problems solved, Bill makes short work of my life total. I managed to escape a few times at first, but I do end up going down again, and again, and again. 
at this point I am out of gold, potions and will to live so I do the only reasonable thing, look up a tutorial and immediately go again. With my mental health thrown in the trash pile I tell Diablo to go stuff it followed up by telling Mare where he can put his fist toe and switch to a second mercenary setup that I had found. This one was done by Switch 209 Gaming, using a last wish for some serious crushing blow and life tap, a Kingslayer for minus defense and some more crushing blow, a jammed areas and a treachery. And with my mercenary set up like that I had to watch Bill again, this time tanking his hits without energy shield as I keep constantly using Novas while Goku at home hacks away at his life total. Swing after swing triggering hits of crushing blow, everyone's life total falling lower and lower. And just like that, Bale goes down, our mission completed, happiness and sadness flow over me, I didn't die in that last attempt, this should have been done on hardcore. But a feeling of relief flows through me as I realize it's done and I'm very happy because this was one of the hardest things I have ever tried to do in this game. Seriously, we have very different definitions of easy, this was so bad, it took me hours. Here's the gear I used, it's all very standard and thank you to all the members, it's a 1017 source torch and thank you for watching, see you in the next one.